Good morning and welcome to Math TV with Professor V. It's Thursday, January 26th, and here's your integral of the day. We have integral of the square root of x squared minus 1 over x to the fourth dx. You probably have guessed it by now. It is trig sub time. Which trigonometric function are we going to use? Well, look, underneath the radical, since we have the variable squared first, minus a constant, it's time to bust out secant theta. So we're going to let x equal secant theta. Then we have to find dx. Derivative of secant theta is secant theta tan theta d theta. So now we're ready for action. Let's rewrite this integral in terms of theta. So in the numerator, we're going to have square root secant squared theta minus 1. And then in the denominator, since x is secant theta, this is going to be secant to the fourth theta. And then instead of dx, we have secant theta, tan theta, d theta. All right, very good. Now notice underneath the radical, this is the beauty of the trig sub. This is when it all comes together. Secant squared theta minus 1, that's tangent squared theta. So I have square root tan squared theta. I can cancel out this secant theta with one of the secants in the denominator. So now I just have secant cubed theta and then one tan theta is left over, d theta. All right, now square root of tan squared theta. Technically it's absolute value of tan theta, but remember we restrict this angle so we don't have to worry about the absolute value. I'm gonna say it every time. Um, so we just have tangent theta times another tangent theta in the numerator, that's tan squared theta over secant cubed theta d theta. All right, now at this point, you kind of can play around with it and think, oh, is there an obvious u sub I could make? No, I don't see one. So I recommend just going back to sines and cosines, rewriting your integral, and then usually it's a little bit easier to play around with and see what sort of substitution will help you bring it all home, okay? So if we have tangent squared theta in the numerator, that's sine squared theta over cosine squared theta, and then secant cubed theta in the denominator, well, we know secant is one over cosine, so then that's gonna be the same as multiplying by cosine cubed theta over one. And then we have d theta. And this is beautiful, look, 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 because cosine squared is gonna cancel. I just have one cosine in the top. And then I don't know if you remember, this is one of the first kinds of trig integrals that you learned. When you just have a product of sines and cosines, and it's especially lovely when one of them is odd, all by its lonesome, this guy, we're going to do a u substitution, and you want cosine theta d theta to be du. If that's going to be du, then just think backwards. What would u have to be? Well, u is going to be sine theta, not sine squared theta. Uh -uh. It won't work out cute if you do that. And then du is cosine theta d theta. See how lovely? Oh my goodness. So then now we have integral u squared du, right? So, so clean. Antiderivative, one third u cubed plus c. And then u was sine theta, so this is one third sine theta cubed, or sine cubed theta plus c. And then we're not done. So remember, the original integral was not in terms of theta, it was in terms of x. And when we did our trig sub, we let x equal secant theta, right? That's x over 1 is secant theta. That's the same as saying 1 over x is cosine theta. I can draw a little triangle now, a theta triangle. Cosine is the ratio of adjacent over hypotenuse. And then this missing side here, just use the Pythagorean theorem, it's going to be square root of x squared minus 1. 
So using the triangle, could you tell me what sine of theta is? Yeah, of course, sine is ratio of opposite over hypotenuse side. Okay, so this is going to be one third opposite square root of x squared minus one over hypotenuse. And then we still have to cube all of that plus C. Um, you can clean it up just a wee bit more, I would. So if you have square root of something cubed, you can write that to the 3 halves power. And then that exponent, this one, so it'll distribute up here as well as down here to the x. So we have x cubed and there's a 3 sitting outside. So let's just bring them all together, 3x cubed plus c. And that would be my final answer. Did you guys ever watch that show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It was exciting. When I was younger, it was all the rage. We'd watch it as a family. Is that your final answer? So I hope you enjoyed the integral of the day. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite part was, what kind of integrals you'd like to see more of. I have a good time doing these. If you guys enjoy it, we can keep it going. And I'm going to go to hot yoga in a little bit and then I have office hours all day with my students so I'll be doing plenty of calculus and whatnot subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the my other playlists I have on different kinds of calculus courses calc one two three pre-calc trig stats I got a lot of stuff there for you guys and take care I'll talk to you guys soon bye